Welcome. As of this broadcast, the President of the United States signed into law a second stimulus check that will go to all Americans. And in this episode, we'll review the bill that placed this new stimulus check into law, but also we want to provide you with the tips and tricks and strategies to protect that check from garnishment. Let's get started. The new what's called the Consolidated Appropriations Act 2021, which is a $900 million that contains the provision for what is called the second stimulus check with a value of $600. And the bill is called HR 133, and it was signed into law December 2020. In addition to the bill, there was a letter put out by the chairman Richard E. Neal, where it's called Economic Impact Payments. And in that letter, it says that this second stimulus check will be free from garnishment. Yes, it will be free from garnishment. But in this episode, we're going to show how to ensure that this check is not subject to garnishment. In this new bill passed by Congress, it's approximately $900 billion, and it, con it contains what is called the coronavirus relief bill. In addition, it provide additional protection for people who are getting the unemployment insurance. Also, Congress at this time is reviewing whether or not another stimulus bill that contains a $2,000 provision will be available to all Americans. If, for example, you did not receive this second or the first stimulus check, the IRS has a location on their website called Get My Payments. And all you have to do is go to the search engine, type in the irs.gov, and then look for Get My Payment. We did a, a video called Stimulus Check Was Not For You, and that was more related to the first stimulus check. But there's a provision in this appropriations bill that actually talks more to how you can recapture the first stimulus check if you did not receive it. Hello, my name is Chris, and in this episode, we're going to highlight the benefits of this second stimulus $600 check, but also we're going to show you how you can protect your rights from this check from garnishment. Now, normally we reserve such as what we call our donations at the end of this video, but this time we're asking, if you could just give us a donation, we are providing very useful information that everyone can use, and we're just simply asking for your support. In addition, please uh, subscribe to our channel as well as uh, hit the notification bell. We have a section at the end called Call to Action, where we give you tips and strategies in which to protect this stimulus check from all types of garnishment. So let's look at what is called a companion letter from the chairman, Richard E. Neal, from the House Committees and Ways provision. And in that letter, which is a supplement to the HR bill, it says here, unlike the first round of stimulus check, which is called the economic impact payments, this payment of $600 is not subject to garnishment. It is completely exempt. And we're going to highlight the sections of how you can protect your protect this check. Also, if you were convicted of what is called willful contempt of not paying child support, which is 18 USC 228, we believe that there's provision in this bill that still allows you to get that check. And it's found on page 999. And again, this is our opinion, but you can reference that. Oh, by the way, 18 U.S.C. 228 refers to what is called the federal enforcement of child support. So let's look at the provision regarding the financial institution. This stimulus check for $600 will be start off with a direct deposit to your account. In addition, there'll be another round of where it will be mailed out or if you don't have an account, how you can get your check. Now, we're highlighting this section, as we said in this episode, we're showing you how to protect this particular check from garnishment, and it falls under section 31 CFR 
212.6, and that is the financial institution statute. It is found on page 65 of the, the bill itself. So let's review what happens to your direct deposit. Now, under this statute, it says that this stimulus check is fully protected from all garnishment. That is, they cannot freeze an account. They cannot uh, allow others to garnish it. Second, the financial institution must separate this a check from any other money that's inside your account. Yes. In other words, it should be shielded from any sort of garnishment. And the statute for that is 212.5. In other words, they must set aside the funds where it is not subject to garnishment. And here's the best part, that the banks must ensure that if there are any challenges, not just from child support, but from any other associations, such as banks, credit cards, payments, the bank must shield or prevent anyone from taking this money. And finally, there is a notice that if you did not receive your check, you can contact the bank, and that is statute 212.7. And what we're saying here is this is a section that is very, very important. You must protect this money from all garnishment so that you get it directly. It is a direct payment. But here is the statute in which you could use in your communications to the bank or financial institution that says this $600 is free of any garnishment. As you know, other financial institutions are being allowed to distribute this payment and it applies to them as well. So in my opinion, this is all about the money. Every sort of garnishment wants to have access to this $600 check. Well, this is where the protection comes in, and I provide you with the statute that helps you to protect yourself from any other garnishment. That is, for car note, anything else, this money must go directly to the recipients. We did a video call uh, the stimulus check is not for you. And in that area, we point out that they did not set aside any protection for that money. But in this bill, there is a protection. But here's something else. As I said, this is protecting you. If you were not given or you did not receive the first stimulus check, I'm here to tell you that in this new bill, they put what is called a, a true up or 2020 tax refund. That is, if you did not receive the first stimulus check, there's an opportunity for you to capture it again, as well as if there's any changes in your household, whereas you had one child at the beginning of the year and maybe you have two, you can claim an additional fund. Now, these details are being worked out right now. As you know, this bill was recently just signed. They're still going through it, but there is provision in this. And what I'm asking for is stay tuned to this channel. We will provide you the details and the steps for which if you missed out on the first stimulus check, you can get or have access to it as well. And please subscribe to our channel. So here we are, what is called our call to action. So as a result of this new stimulus bill or the second stimulus bill, we, we've given you the ability to verify with your financial institution that they have received the funds and that the funds are targeted directly to you for, for reimbursement. Next, you can verify if there's any level attached to the funds. Even if there's a hold on your account, based on the, the new bill, they're allowed to release that $600 or whatever the amount is based on your family size directly to you. Also, there's an ability further that in the CARES Act, which is the earliest in 2020, you will have an opportunity to either get that funds or maybe add that as a credit to your tax return. So that looks like a very strong benefit for everyone. Here we are at the end. And as we said, if you have any questions on this new stimulus tax, tax bill, please feel free to reach out to us. We also ask that you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And in the future where the provision that you did not receive the first stimulus check, we will provide information on how you can claim that on your taxes and therefore get the amount. And then finally, we asked earlier that 
uh, please feel free to donate any amount to us. We're asking for $25, but any amount will be appreciative. And this brings us to the end of protecting this stimulus check from garnishment. Uh, feel free to check out the other videos on this page. And thank you.